Hello. So I'm coming online today. Um, very spontaneous. I was actually making me some lunch today. And I'm going to experiment with a recipe. And um, I just wanted to share with y'all. And yes, here's my daughter. She's helping me out with this recipe. And hopefully it's going to go well. And it is a keto style recipe. So um, I'm over here mixing up some turkey burgers. Um, right here, mixing up some turkey meat. I put some chopped green pepper, onion, and mushroom in here. And I have some thick sliced bacon in my air fryer um, getting ready for me. So I'm gonna cook up the turkey burgers. That's not the experiment. On the side, um, I was going to make some, we're gonna make some zucchini fries. Um, but I'm gonna try to do it keto style. So, um, like I said, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but anyway, I just wanted to share it with y'all. So, um, right now, I'm cutting up some zucchini. I'm cutting mine kind of little thick, like this. Almost like, well, not quite wedge size. Um, like a thicker fry. Yeah. So, I'm cutting this up. And little mama over here, she cracked the egg for me and she's whisking it. Because after I uh, cut up all of the zucchini, I'm going to soak it in the egg wash. And then I'm going to prepare a batter, which is purely experimental. And we're going to see how that, that bad baby turn out. We have never done it before, so <laughs> if it comes out bad, it's not our fault. Exactly what she said. So, I'm still cutting up I think the zucchini. Two no, one is fine. This came out with no eggshells. Well, I would hope so. And, um, of course, uh, y'all will pick up on the theme. Any recipe that I like to share with y'all is a quick recipe. So, normally, you can obtain a finished meal in 20 minutes or less. So, just want to note that. And, um, right after I cut this up, uh, I'm going to get my turkey burgers to go in while my zucchini is sitting in my egg wash and then i'm going to prepare the breader for the zucchini fries oh and when i taste it if i say it's bad it's not because it's cooked bad i just don't really like zucchini and stuff like that okay she might like it though so, I, I think i'm not like it. so i have those cut up so this is the finished product They cut up pretty thick, but I think it's gonna turn out very well. It's some wet So, Lanaya, bring over the egg wash. So, it's just one scrambled egg, and I'm just gonna put the zucchini in there. Well, actually, Lanaya is gonna put them in there, and um, she's gonna put the zucchini in there, and I'm gonna be right over here getting the turkey burger started. So you just put your pan on medium heat, season your ground turkey however you like. Um, because this is keto style, I'm going to add some ghee to my pan just to add a little extra fat for the turkey. Because of course, turkey doesn't ground turkey doesn't have um, that much fat in it. Did you say ghee? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm weak. I can't open it. Oh, it's so tight. Girl, please. I can open it. I guarantee you I can. What a towel. I'm going to go ahead and put the zucchini on. Okay. So, I got my ghee open. Is this your first meal? Hmm? Your 
first video? No, my second. Oh. Okay, we might have to do these at a certain time, because we don't want to like stacked up. Okay, so I have my gear in here. Snow's coming handy. And um, I'm going to patty up those, and I'm going to get my... Um, yeah, just put them in there. Look. Dang. Look, just throw the zucchini in the wash. And the fork that you had, just going to toss them a little bit just to make sure all the zucchini get some of the egg on it. And awesome. the the reason why I'm putting the egg on it is it makes it so the batter that I'm using will stick to the zucchini. So I'm going to let little mama finish that. While I show y'all what I'm gonna do for my batter. So, for my breader. That was fast. So, my bacon is finished in the air fryer. I, I really don't like that doing beeping. There's no way you can silent it. Um, can you stop talking so much in my video? Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I have a little sandwich bag right here. I have some cauliflower crackers and 44 crackers is um, 18 total carbs and it's two. So it's net carbs is 16 for 44 crackers. But the deal is I'm not gonna use 44 crackers for this recipe. I'm going to use probably half of that. So, let me count some crackers out here. So, let's say we're going to use about 20 of them crackers. And we're going to put them in our bag. So, 16, half of that is 8 net cards. So, put them right. in my bag right here, and then I'm going to crunch them up. You can use whatever method you would like. over here is nice and hot so I'm gonna patty up my turkey burgers real quick I put an egg in my turkey too so it'll help it bind together I feel like this gonna be pretty dang good I'm making two of the burgers small because we have some little Hawaiian rolls. Oh, yeah, um, and that's what little mama going to have. I'm going to have my turkey burger with no bread, of course. To achieve keto status. Everything looks
right? So my turkey burgers are in there. Put that bowl in the sink. And of course, wash your hands. Because you just handled raw poultry. So, um, I don't play no cross-contamination up in my kitchen. So I got to wash them hands good. So I'm going to fry the zucchini fries in olive oil because that is keto approved. That's a keto approved oil. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and pour some in my pan over here so it can get hot. And I would say it's approximately a fourth a cup of oil in the pan and I'm putting that on medium heat. Well, a little bit lower while I um, a little bit lower because you don't want your olive oil to burn while you get in your um, our batter together. So come back to my batter. I'm going to put some almond flour in the crackers. And then I'm going to season this because, of course, we season our chicken over here, baby. And I'm using some Tony Sanchez, uh spice and herb, but you can use whatever season you want to. And I always use some powders like onion powder, um, garlic powder. The powders are really, really good to add flavor, but not to add the extra sodium to your food. So this some garlic powder right here. Put it in there. And I love black pepper, so I'm gonna put me some black pepper in mine. Okay, shake it up. Yep, you got it. And then we're gonna just mix this bad baby up just to incorporate all the uh, seasonings so and crackers and everything just to incorporate it together and then I'm going to get little mama to bring the zucchini over here I'm going to close up my almond flour all right Move this back a little bit. Okay. So while little mama, I'm gonna go ahead and get get some of the ones on the bottom that's really soaked in the egg wash. And I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna flip our burgers, and I'm gonna also turn up this olive oil that's waiting on the fries to make sure our oil is ready. So don't try to put them all in there, but put a good amount in there and then shake them up in the batter. Alright. medium high I'm gonna take the bacon out just so we can because I cooked it in the air fryer a lot of the grease I already drained from it and I used um, um, the pepper bacon 
so it does look really really dark and I clip it a little bit longer than what I normally do I prefer um, chewy bacon but that anyway um, I'm going to put the bacon over here here go my bacon peppered bacon oh, stick that to the side How many you put in there? I put like at least five. Okay. So for these, we want to make sure. Of course, I would have used a bigger bag, but we, we, we out of them right now. So, you know, you got to make it do what it do. So you just work it. Make sure you get your, um, your zucchini fully covered. And once it's fully covered, it's gonna look like that, baby. Ooh. And I'm gonna test my oil over here to see if it's ready. Ow. It ain't quite ready, so I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Did you put it in there? Uh-uh, I didn't put it in there yet. Whenever you frying, it's so important to make sure your uh, oil is properly tempered or you won't get the right consistency, crispiness, and all of that from whatever you find. Just chef things. And to be honest, I don't normally uh, fry in olive oil, so I'm being real careful to watch it because um, I don't know if it burns easy because uh, different oils, y'all might not know this, but different types of oils have different heat capacities and how much heat it can take before it burns. So, yes, food knowledge, baby. And our turkey burgers are looking very nice over here. They look delicious. That olive oil is heating up. While I'm waiting on this to heat up a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up. Because you got to work smart, baby. Not you don't hard. need no more to see. Uh-uh. So here, put this over there too. You can put the almond flour in there and the cauliflower crackers. I didn't even know we had those. And here's some of my mixture, my... um. It's mushroom, green pepper, and onions that I had previously had chopped up, and I still have a little bit more, so I'm gonna put that back in the fridge. Um, I'll use that for another recipe tomorrow. And I put that mixture in my um, turkey burgers. So um, the oil look like it's hot enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put zucchini in there. Um, Lanaya, you want to try to get the camera over here on the, on the frying pan? Yeah, but I don't know if you can turn it. Yeah, you can't turn it. So, I don't have to. I don't know if they can see. Yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let her put the phone back. Yes, because I was there. But in the meanwhile, I'm gonna put more zucchini over there so I can get that pan filled up. Watch, please. And, I, and for this, we use one whole zucchini. So, of course, you could do more or you could do less. Um, we got crumbs all over. Yeah. Because it's falling off. We gonna use this to flip them? Uh, yeah, that'll work. All right. Don't flip them yet, though. Make okay, sure they're good and crispy. Wipe it up and stuff. On each side before we flip Mom, them. I'm so excited. This is gonna be delicious. <laughs> it looks like they get bigger. So. They get Thank 
try not to use my hands. I'm gonna turn my oil down a little bit too because it looks like it's browning. And I want my oil to burn because if you burn your oil, your food gonna have a burn face. I turned the camera to you so they can see the process. The burgers are still fine. They yeah, I'm about good. to flip them burgers too because this pan I almost full. Okay, so the first ones we put in is ready to be flipped. So I'm gonna let Lanai use the tongs to do this. Of course, under adult supervision. Go ahead and flip them there. Move it to the professional. Ooh, baby. Look. Ooh, that was the good one. You see those? They turn brown. And the zucchini is a little soft too. They gonna be scrumptious, baby. I'm gonna flip my turkey burgers. And these turkey burgers will They look a little light, but they're light, but your turkey meat, you don't want it to dry out because turkey is an unforgiving meat. So if you overcook it, it's that thing gonna be bone dry, honey. So this is uh the turkey is done. I'm I'm gonna put that on low heat while I'm still working on my zucchini fries because I want it to um, everything to be warm when we finish. So I'm gonna get Lanaya to give me a, a, a paper plate. Okay. Cause that first batch of um, zucchini fries. They're ready. Already. Ooh, ma, I cannot. This is. I'm. I'm. I'm a loss of words. Like. Okay. So. Normally, I would have put like paper um, some paper towel down, but. I ran out, so I gotta go to the store. So anyway, I'm gonna just make sure the excess grease drip before I put it on my paper plate. And bam, baby. It looks pretty good. Let it drip, excess grease drip. And I'm gonna just lay them on the plate. Once she's done with that first batch, I'll show y'all what they look like. So I can get a good perspective. Did I tell right? Yes, she did, baby. That the second ones I put in, they didn't get that much batter on them because somebody was trying to put a whole lot in the bag at once. But uh, you know, I know that don't work, so I ain't gonna do it again. Oh, they're all done. So. But now I can show you that. And I'm going to put another batch in the bag. I want to try it so bad just right now. You can try it, but it's hot. I get the good one. Hmm. <gasps> mm -hmm. Okay. It smells like chicken. <laughs> Do it. Yes. It smells like some, some healthy chicken. That batter's good. I don't know if that cool off. I'm hungry. And to be honest, y'all, because uh, after this look, the little bit that I drop in here, this gonna be enough for me and her for a serving right now. So I'm probably not gonna cook the rest of them that I have in the um, in the egg wash right now. It's falling apart because you know I ain't got time right now. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But just letting y'all know. So after I cook these few, I'm gonna show you the plating and I'm gonna end the video. Oh, good. 
They good, baby? Mm-hmm. Alright. They're falling apart, but they are delicious. But see, I like my zucchini a little bit crunchy. You don't want them mushy because it's supposed to be a fry. That? Y'all have to try this recipe. It may I'm seem gonna... like a lot, but it's definitely worth it. It's like very, very worth it. Because this... Mm -hmm. I hate the good one. One more, and then we're gonna save the rest for when it's time to eat. Mm -hmm. Ma, you know, I do not like zucchini. This is. Uh-huh. A twelve. A twelve? Hey. That I'm not exaggerating. This is by far the most delicious, healthiest thing I've tasted. Okay, so all this stuff, the little extra, whatever, I'm gonna just throw it in the trash. Huh? Now I'm about to get rid of the plate. So I'm washing my hands again. And wash your technique. And um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate hers. And then I'm going to plate mine. So. Where is my towel? Okay. I keep eating it. I'm not even trying to. Wait a minute. Um, so. Where is the bone? Um, I took them um, right there. Okay. So, her is going to use buns, and, mm -hmm. of course, I'm going to put some cheese on the burgers. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn that pan up a little bit more, and put a little cheese on it, and let it um, melt down. I'm fine. And I'm, I'm flipping that last batch of zucchini fries. It's like you can still taste the zucchini, like original taste. I definitely learned in this recipe I'm going to have to figure out a better way to get the breader to stick. Now the first batch turned out great but um, the second batch it's like it's falling off so I'm putting a little shredded cheddar on top of the burgers. Y'all can put whatever cheese what, you yeah, want. Yeah whatever type of cheese. Do you want cheddar? Um, yes. I love cheddar cheese. I may break the butter. Yeah, get your little buns and cut them open. Do you know what we're using? Y'all can use whatever y'all like. Get you a plate. If y'all don't even want buns, then don't use buns. Get you a plate. And, and give me a plate. Okay. These all come together. Okay. And I have a little Gouda, shredded Gouda here too. <laughs> Just gonna add a little bit of that on there. I'm trying not to cut the seed. Alrighty. Oh. And so to start out my plate, I have some uh, salad mix, Italian salad mix. So I'm gonna use it on the bottom of my plate since I'm not using a bun on mine. So, oh yeah, that's smart. This has already been washed and is ready to eat. So, it is some leftover. So, I'm just picking out the little brown pieces. Um, but I don't like being wasteful. So, I try to use everything that I have in my refrigerator. Um, what second part of the second Okay. So we just got her little buns out. I'm gonna cut them open for her. Cut them open evenly. Ooh. Make her like some little sliders. Like I tried yesterday. Bam. And our cheese is melting down. And I'm about to take the rest of the zucchini out. Perfect. 
Okay. We don't need this piece, do we? Hmm? We don't need this piece right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And of course, with this recipe, you can make you a sauce or something like that if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Um, you could use whatever keto recipe or things or Don't whatever you. sauce you would want to use on yours. Um, we did a great job. I'm going to probably just have a little mayonnaise and mustard on the side of mine. Do you want any mayonnaise and mustard? Mm -hmm. Okay, so little mama don't want any. So uh, the cheese is still melting down. So, you know, a trick to get your cheese to melt, give me a top, give me the top to this pan. You put the top on your pan and then it'll enclose the heat and then your cheese will go ahead and melt down for you. Ow, so, ow, ow, ow. That's it. Okay, so hold this over there so they can see what the cheese looking like right now. That's the cheese unmelted. That's unmelted. So I'm going to just put the top on there for just a couple minutes. Not even a couple minutes. Like this steam and everything gone. And close in there, and it's gonna melt that cheese up for us real quick. I was not lying. Nah, that's a winner right there, y'all. That's a winner. Especially when I when Mama perfected. Oh baby, gonna be everything. So what I'm gonna do? While we waiting on that cheese to fully melt down, I'm going to go ahead and... Do you want bacon on yours? Yes. I'm going to cut up some bacon and put on her little sliders. I sneakily ate a piece of It was delicious. See, she likes crispy bacon. Um, I, I normally have my bacon chewy. So I'm going to put her some little bacon on there. You are. Don't mind the dishes. So, a little bacon on her sandwich. And the cheese is finally melting down. So, show them how the cheese melts. You can't really see it, but uh -huh. over there it's like real good. Yeah, and it's melting right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and go ahead and get this on our sandwiches. If you're doing it with your kid, you're going to have so much fun doing this. <laughs> so, I'm going to get her. Oh, get the phone for me. Show on. Oh, where's my plate? Okay. Plate her little burgers. That? Mm -hmm. If you don't like zucchini, I feel like y'all would like y'all end up liking it just because of this. Cause now I like zucchini. So just get at a little push. Uh oh, that one upside down. Oh, I think I put two tops and two bottoms. But anyway, it still tastes the same. Let's make a difference. Um, and I'm going to get her put. Oh, my God. I'm going to put her some um some zucchini fries on her plate. Mm -hmm. And she'll be ready to eat. Good to y'all, the final product with the burgers and the zucchini strips. Who is hot? You taste that at first. I'm gonna that. Okay, so there go her zucchini fries. I'm putting zucchini fries on my plate with my lettuce. That's my trash back there. Turn this a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get my turkey burger out the pan with the cheese. Ow, ow. And plus for keto, Cheese is great to add that fat that your turkey burger does not have. So I'm going to go ahead and put my turkey burger on my plate. And I do have two more turkey burgers in there, but I'm just going to leave it for hubby when he wake up. So, you know, he already got a meal ready to go. So. And everybody in my house eat a little bit different. So, mama's eating keto, baby girl eating regular. But I make recipes that can be tailored to fit everyone in your family's taste buds. 
but you just make that one meal and tweak it just a little bit. So, um, like I said, we a little bit over because we had a little, you know, hiccups or whatever, but still, we at 35 minutes. So I'm going to show you my plate and I'm going to show you Lanaya's plate and I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if so, please like and share and subscribe. So thank you guys so much for your time today. Let me show you the final product. There's my plate with the turkey burger on top of a salad with the zucchini fries. And this is Lanaya's plate, two turkey, bur turkey burger sliders with zucchini fries. Scrumptious. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.